Today we'll look at navigation controllers. And navigation controllers allow us to manage segways through a stack of, of UI view controllers. So it keeps track of which UI view controllers we have looked at and provides a back path to retreat in our navigation. It does this using a stack. It's a LIFO stack, last in, first out. You can think of a cafeteria trays where we put trays into a cafeteria stack and the last one in would be the first one that somebody takes out. In navigating the stack, the navigation controller creates a navigational bar at the top. And the really cool thing about navigation controllers is it's a great way of creating information uh, apps and you don't need to do any programming. You just need to be able to control drag to create the segues and let the navigation controller handle the navigation. So here we have a, a app that was created for the South Mountain Kennel Club. This is a fictitious kennel club. And I created buttons for three different groups. So we can go to the herding groups. This would be a prototype where we might include a whole lot more dogs and, and additional groups. But then in each group, we would have breakouts for each dog breed. So here we have the collie. And we can get information about the collie, and you can see that we can scroll through the information we're using a text view. So this view, this UI view controller, has a label for the collie or for the name of the breed, a text view for the description, and then an image view for the image. Notice we got a back button up here. This is the navigation bar, and I can click back to go back to the herding group. I could go to another dog in this group, in this case, the German Shepherd dog. And I can go back again. I still have a back button here on the herding group, which takes me back to my main page where I can decide which group I want to look at. Likewise, we can go to the hound group. From the hound group, we could look at the Rhodesian Ridgeback, see information about that particular breed in the text view. So we can scroll through the text view and see the text that's there. And again, I can go back. I could go to one of the other dogs, or I can go back to the main screen and this time go to the working group where we can look up information about the Rottweiler. We can go back and back. So that's how a navigation controller works. Let's go ahead and set this up. So I'm going to create a new single view app. I'm going to name it O7D Kennel Club. This is actually the second one I'm done. I'm going to hit Kennel Club 2. Decide so where I want to save it. We'll create it. And for now, I'm going to set it just up as landscape left or landscape right. And we're going to go into our assets catalog. So I have in Canvas a zip file containing uh, graphics for this project, and there's also a Microsoft Word document containing the body text. Both the graphics and the body text came from Wikipedia, and so we're using them under the Creative Commons uh, share alike license. Here are the images unzipped, and uh, each of these have our three views. Uh, the 3x is 1200 by 1200, the 2x is 800 by 800, and the 1x is 400 by 400. And I used our previous methodology of creating these in Photoshop and using a JavaScript that I'd written to resize these and save them out with the names and the, the three different sizes. So you can see we have uh, images here for all the dogs, all nine dogs, as well as our logo for this project. And I'm simply going to select all of them and drag them over here to our assets catalog on the left hand side and it will create images of those groupings for us. And we can click on any one of them and see the images by themselves. It assigned them the names in terms of what our file names were. We could modify these names if we want. And if we're using these in, in programming code, we might want to shorten these, maybe get rid of the SMKC and just say Australian Catalog, Cattle Dog, or ACD, um, however you want to name those. We don't need to do that because we're not going to refer to them in programming. As I said, in this project, there is no programming. 
So the next thing now is to go to the main storyboard. We want to view this as landscape. And we're going to start with a label. So I'm going to put a label up here towards the top. I'm going to enter my text in the attributes viewer. South, South Mountain Kennel Club. I want to make this a little bit bigger. So I'm going to change this to about uh, maybe 24 point. Line it to the left. I'm going to stretch this out. And let's also make it bold. In fact, I think I still want a little bit bigger. Go to 28 point. I'm going to bring an image. So we'll bring an image view object. I'm going to roughly resize this to the size that I want. Choose the image. I want the SMKC logo image. You can see it's a little bit distorted. These are perfect, perfectly square images. So I'm going to go to the uh, size viewer. And right now it's 330 by 280. Um, so it's a little bit wider than it is uh, tall. Let's see if we make these both 300 and see how that looks. All right, that fits pretty well. We don't have a lot of margin here at the bottom. Um, so I might just move this up a little bit, nudging with my keyboard arrows. And then we want to create some buttons. bring a button in. I'm going to resize it a little bit. I want the text of this button to say herding group. And I'm going to set the background color. I'm going to choose other and then I can take the eyedropper within the RGB sliders area and I could choose any color in here. I'm going to choose this the dark uh, teal color. And our blue text doesn't show up very well there, so I'm going to change the color of the text to be white. And let's make it bigger and bolder. So I'm choosing 21 point. I'm going to choose bold for the style. And I'm going to stretch this out a little bit more. Okay, so there's our first button. I'm simply going to select that, copy, paste. Let's change this one to Hound Group as far as the title. And we'll paste one more time. This will be our working group. So there is our main page. And I think this is a little bit crowding here. So I'm going to change the size uh, from 300 to 280 by 280, just to give us a little more space here. I think that looks better. OK, so next we want to create another UI view controller. So I'm going to drag a view controller onto my storyboard. And I'm going to move it up here to the right of my main storyboard. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the label and my three buttons. So I copy with Command C come over to this, the new view controller, select it, and I'm going to paste, and just kind of move them into position so they're basically in the same position. 
And I'm going to change these buttons. I'm going to start three dogs for the herding group will be the Australian cattle dog. You can see it's a little bit too narrow. So I'm going to stretch that out a little bit and then we'll stretch out the others to match. So the second button is going to be our Collie and our German Shepherd dog. I'm going to change the text of my label to simply say Hound Group. It's our Herding Group. And then I'm going to add a text view. So I come to our library, look up the text view, position that in place, and make this a little bit wider and taller. So it kind of fills this left hand area. And by default, put some lorem if some text there. I'm going to highlight through that text and delete it. Now, I have a Microsoft Word document in Canvas that has some body text taken from Wikipedia that we can use. So I'm going to scroll up in that document and find the text for the herding group. I'm going to copy it, come back to our storyboard, and simply going to paste that text in. And there we go. There's our herding group. Now I'm going to change the name of the view controller here, just kind of keep track of each of these view controllers. So I'll simply name this Herding Group View Controller. And when I change the name of the view, it's going to change the name of the view scene automatically for us. I can actually scroll that up. Let's change that first page to be main, main title, or just simply really title view controller. Okay, so I'm going to take this, this herding group view. I'm going to go to the edit menu and choose copy. I'm going to click in the area underneath and go edit paste. And I now have a new view controller. I'm going to zoom out a little bit in my view controller so you can see this. When I pasted the view controller, it came in on top of the original. So I'm simply going to grab it and drag it down. Put it where I want it this one up a little bit. And so now in this view controller, this is going to be for the uh, hound group. So I'm going to change the name to hound group control view controller. I'm going to come over here, change the name of the text to hound group. Get rid of the body text here in our text view. Go back to my Microsoft Word document and get the text for the hound group. And paste that in to our text view. Now I'm going to change these buttons. So our three buttons for the hound group, the three dogs we're going to display, will be the Basset Hound, the Beagle, and the Rhodesian Ridgeback. And there we have it. Now I'm going to create one more for the working group. So again, I can select this hound group, edit menu, copy, come down here, and then edit paste. I'm going to drag this view controller down. And over here in our structure, I'm going to change work hound group to working group. And we'll change the title of our label to say working group. 
and we'll change the text in the text view. Deleting, going to Word, grabbing the text. Now, a lot of times when you're working with a client, they're going to be the subject matter expert, or we'll have a subject matter expert available to you who will provide this kind of information. Oftentimes, as a designer, you're not required to go find this information. They will give you the text and hopefully give you the images or hire a photographer to go get images, or maybe hire you if you have good photography skills to go get the images. So there's our text for the working group. We need to change our buttons. Here we will have Boxer, Rottweiler, and St. Bernard. Okay, I'm going to scroll over in my storyboard a little bit and come up here to the top. So for hurting view controller, I'm going to select that view controller. I could do any one of those last three group view controllers, um, but I'm going to take that. I'm going to copy it, control C. I'm going to come down to below my view controllers, paste. We're going to move this one over to the right. So I'm going to name this one ACD for Australian Catalog View Controller. I'm going to get rid of the buttons. Change the text of our label to Australian Catalog. We get the text for the Australian catalog. And I have in our Word document some additional information as far as temperament, popularity, height, and weight. I just want the body text here, the paragraph that's describing the dog. So we'll copy that. And I'll paste that in. Now I want to add an image for the dog. So in the library, I'm going to choose image view, bring the image view over. Let's look at our sizes here. Right now it's 240 by 128. I'm going to make this 250 by 250. Again, these are square. And then in the properties of the image view, I'm simply going to go to the image property and go find the Australian cattle dog. Okay, so that's the first of our nine dog breeds. What you want to do now is copy that view controller, paste, bring down, and go for the next breed, which will be our collie. So I would select that and change collie and so forth. I'm going to pause the video here and let you create all nine dog breed view controllers, changing the label, the text view, and the image accordingly. Lay out your, your UI view controllers in this manner so that the three dogs that go with the herding group are just to the right of the herding group, the three dogs that go with the hound group are to the right, and the three dogs that go with the working group, the boxer, the rottweiler, and St. Bernard, are to the right of the working group UI view controller. Do not create the segues yet. We will create our navigation controller to first handle those segues before we create them. All right, welcome back. Hopefully you have all of your UI view controllers set up. Uh, we have our main title view controller. We have the three view controllers for our groups of herding, hound, and the working group. Then we have nine dog breed UI view controllers, three that go with the herding group, which is the Australian cattle dog, the collie, and the German shepherd, three to, that are represented in the hound group, the basset, the beagle, the Rhodesian ridback, and then finally the three that are tied to our working group, the boxer, the rottweiler, and the St. Bernard. So the next step we want to do is to add our navigation controller. I'm going to take the starting view controller, which in this case is our main title page, and I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so that you can see this. I'm going to select that UI view controller. Then we'll go to the editor menu, 
and I'm going to go down to embed in and here is our option for navigation controller. When we do that, we get another UI view, which is a specialized UI view for the navigation controller. Notice that our starting point jumped from the South Mountain Kennel Club, that arrow pointing to that UI view controller to the navigation controller. The navigation controller becomes the starting point, but it in essence is laid on top of all of our other view controllers and will handle the navigation stack. It created a navigation bar here at the top. And I can see here that possibly my label might extend a little bit up into that. So I'm going to do a shift down on the keyboard, just nudge it down 20 pixels. And I think everything else probably is okay. Now we're ready to create our segues. So I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit here. I'm going to select the herding group button, that top button in our title UI view. And I'm going to hold down the control key and drag from that button to the herding group UI view controller. It's going to create a segue. And the segue I want here is to sh simply show. I'm going to do the same thing with the hound group. I'm going to hold down the control key on the hound group button and drag to the hound group view controller, select show. And then finally the working group, I'm going to control drag that button to the working group and select show. And then from each of the groups, I want to connect to the various breeds. So we'll start with the working group down here. I'm just going to do the boxer to the boxer, select show. Rottweiler to Rottweiler, and the St. Bernard to St. Bernard, and again, use a show segue. And I'll do the same thing for each of the others. And if you make a mistake and accidentally choose the wrong segue, you can come over here and you can click on the segue and you can choose which segue you want. And there we have it. Now if we zoom in, you can see that it created a navigation bar on each of these segues with a back button. And again, I think my labels are a little too high for that navigation bar. So I'm gonna nudge them each down 20 points. Now what I'm noticing here is my view controllers for the boxer the Rottweiler and the St. Bernard, as well as the working group, don't have the navigation bar. So I'm going to go over and check my segue. I'm going to click on the segue. And I accidentally chose show detail here. I wanted this to be show. And when I do that, it brings in the navigation bar for all four of those UI view controllers. So just double check, make sure they all have a navigation bar at the top. And then we are ready to test. I'm going to do this in the iPhone 8 simulator. And here's our simulator. We're going to check the um, connection. So I click herding group and get the Australian cattle dog. I can go back, check the college. So I'm going to check and make sure that all of your connections are working. So the Beagle is missing the controller, navigation bar controller. So I'm going to stop there and check out what happened. So on the Beagle, even though it shows a navigation controller, I'm suspecting that maybe my segue is bad. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete the segue and just reset it again. And we'll go back and check. There we go. And go back, check the Rhodesian Ridge back. Let's try the working group. 
So the working group, again, I don't have the segues there. So let's go back and recreate those. And this is probably from when I did the wrong one initially and just changing it didn't create the proper connection. So I'm just going to delete. I'm going to delete all four of these segues just to be safe. All right, so I'm going to do a control drag of the working group button to the working group, choose show. Let's do the boxer, show, the Rottweiler, choosing show, and the St. Bernard, choosing show. And let's test one more time, make sure those all work. So we're the working group. I got my back button. Now that goes back to the main title. The Boxer, the Rottweiler, and the St. Bernard. Now I saw a little problem here with the Rottweiler and the Boxer in that my text is a little bit too high. It's cutting off the bottom of the label. So I'm going to go back and correct that and just drop that text view down, maybe 10 pixels, 10 units. So that is how we use navigation controllers to link UI view controllers up without having to do any programming.